the gentle, soothing sounds of memory chimes. Memories of our pets live long in our hearts forever. In this short video, I share with you how you too can make a memory chime, a remembrance chime of your very best friends. For our remembrance chimes, you'll need a glass bottle. You can use a wine bottle or some type of, uh, this is a Perry, uh, no, this is a Pellegrino bottle that I cut. And make sure the edges right here are sanded down nicely. If you need help in cutting down a bottle, go to the link above that I'll leave and that should help you out in how to cut a bottle. For this remembrance chime, we are going to be using a cork top and you'll need a drill bit of a certain size that your cord is to go through. Now I just pre-drilled my uh, the top. You're gonna want it whittled down enough. You don't need the whole cord, but you are gonna want it whittled down enough like so. I'm gonna cut it in half and then um, you can whittle down the sides. Okay, and you keep on going around until you have adequate enough cut that it's gonna fit inside your bottle. So we already have ours cut and I already drilled inside it. And you want the drill or you want the hole to be adequate enough for your cord to run through. Okay, like so. And you're gonna want to adequate enough space above to leave for a little loop. All right, and do is we're gonna knot this here so that the cord doesn't slip down. Now for me, what I'm gonna do is to take this and I kind of want mine to be chunky and kind of rough, okay? Like a rough hewn Western style uh, boho kind of look. So I'm gonna take another cord here and wrap it right now. And check this out for size, okay? And then what we're gonna do is glue this in place. However, we're not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna add our clacker, which is a sea glass clacker. Now this is nothing more than a tumbled uh, bottle top in a rock tumbler. And I'm gonna add this. Let me see. And then I'm gonna add this so it stops it, so otherwise this is gonna come right through. Even if I knot it, it won't be adequate enough. So let's see how that's gonna be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's nice, I like that. All right, so let's take this out. We're gonna take our glue and I'm using the glue sticks and I'm also using the super glue. I'm gonna bring this in there, wrap it in, and then, okay. These are gorilla sticks, everything stays in there, right? Okay. And then at the end what I'll do is I'll trim it out with a little super glue. So for now, we're going to the clacker is going to come right to about here because that makes a nice noise. And we're going to tie a knot. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make our flapper for the wind to catch. What we're going to do is take our two aluminum cuts and we're going to tap them with the hammer on the edges and to flatten them out and to also buff out the edges so they're not sharp. Perfect. What's so nice about using the hammer on this uh, foil is that it hardens it 
it no longer really feels like aluminum foil. You know, it's, it's interesting how the metal changes. Okay, now we're going to drill a hole for here. This is the setup that I wanna show you of what we're working on. This is one I just finished. Uh, it's actually a gift for somebody whose uh, pop had passed on. And um, you know, you can see the bones and the paws and the sea glass and the copper. So this is what we're working on. And that's the part we're doing right now is the lower part where the, uh, the flapper will be. Clapper, flapper, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's, um, let's drill a hole right into here. And I don't have to have these lined up perfectly. I really don't care actually that they're lined up perfectly. Um, as I said, I'm looking for more of a boho look on this. Just make that a little larger. The same with this. Now, if you make it a little larger, you're gonna want to, or if, just in using the drill actually, you're gonna wanna go back and to tap that out as well and tap that out just so it's super smooth. Okay, you can see that's super smooth now. Once again, I'm gonna take our setup and I'm gonna take our hearts run it through. Now, if by chance your foil or your metal uh, rips a little bit, not a problem. Just bend it over and tap it out again. It's going to be just fine. Figure out how far down you want your flapper to be. I don't want mine too far. I actually think that looks about good. Let me see. And this one, I think I have it. No, yeah, it's a couple inches. It's a good couple inches. So let's weave this in. Because don't forget, you're going to have... Um, other things going on with the flapper. You're gonna have some knotted uh, copper, uh, danglies hanging, uh, butterflies, and all kinds of good stuff. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And for a flapper, if you wanna use a different material, if you wanna use plastic or, or what have you, that's okay too. I'm just gonna simply do this in a loose knot. And then we're gonna seal that also right in here with a little bit of super glue. Now we're gonna take our wire, cut off a nice generous piece. And one of the things I love, I bought these on Amazon and they're like little paw and bone cookie things or whatever, I'm not sure. They were, they were I bought them for my dogs, but they're so little, they actually made a better, uh, mold for my epoxy paws and bones to use in my jewelry as well as for my my wind chimes here. So I'm going to drill a hole. Um, I'm drill right here. Now I'm going to put the bone down below here, and I'm just going to simply uh, make a, a twist. And this is messy. You know, just hold firmly in place this area without touching or uh, mangling this part. And I'm just gonna wrap it, really. Oh, that looks looking very, very nice. I like it a lot. I'm gonna wrap it and then I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna coil the remaining parts of it. And okay. Let's go up here and attach the paw. So for that, we're gonna need another piece of wire. And I'm also attaching a, a little bit of, I'm gonna go for a little piece of sea glass, just like I did in this one. And that is gonna be, I'm gonna grab this one. These are so pretty though, let me see. Again, these are nothing more than bottles and they've been uh, smashed up and put it into my rock tumbler and they make like a faux sea glass. I just love, really adore using these for a lots and lots of things. So we're gonna attach this. And again, another generous piece of um, wire like this, because the wire is gonna be for the bone and then we're gonna use this and we're going to attach this to up here, just like we did in this one. Kind of wraps it around. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I like that. Okay, now we're gonna continue with our paw and finish it up. Okay. 
Now you don't want to go too far below here because it's going to change the sound of the clacker or you might not even have any kind of sound at all. You might, and you do want that beautiful wind chime sound. So I'm going to hold this right here. I'm going to wrap it around the top of the bottle going underneath that little piece of faux sea glass. Okay. And I'm going to grab it and then tighten it right here. Beautiful. I really like the way that looks. Additionally, I have a butterfly and I'm going to put it on the other side of this bone right here down by the clacker. So I'm gonna simply drill a hole right here. This is the same material that the paw and the bone are made out of, epoxy. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and just wrap it around here and then it'll be done. The beauty of these memory wind chimes is that you can tailor them to really to whatever you want. It's, it's the details that's certainly going to matter. For this one, I'm putting Zephyr's dog tags here.